Hi. Daddy! What's wrong? Daddy, I must say you're getting a bit incestuous with me. I'm not your daddy. Wait, I, I don't get it. You're not Jim, Jimmy? I'm Johnny. Where's Jimmy, my daddy? I don't know. Uh, how do you know he was here? So, social services. They, they told me his mod passed away and he might be here with you. Well, he was here, but not anymore. Do, do you know where he might be? Your guess is as good as mine. I knew, though, he didn't want anything to do with you and your mom. What now? Would you like to come and have a drink? I don't know. I, I feel like there are more important things to do right now than drink. Don't you uh, people in Kentucky drink? Where do you think Jack Daniels comes from? All I have is vodka. Then I'll have a white Russian. What's that? Milk and vodka. I only have orange juice. All right, then get me one of those screwdrivers. <sighs> That's right, screwdriver. I like the emphasis you put on that word. Fits the situation. Uh, the way he was screwed by Jimmy, huh? Yeah. Here you go. Easy now, bro. I'm a woman. Oh, yes you are. Why, thank you, Johnny. I want you to mention it. So, what did my daddy tell you about me? Well, I know all about how he did you and your mom wrong. I told Jimmy many times to own up to his responsibilities and to take care of you and your mother. No, I didn't. He? Jimmy? Jimmy chooses to his own drum. He's a strange bird. Well, I'm a free bird. You like that song? Leonard Skinner? Yeah, they rock down in Kentucky all the time with the All Man Brothers and other country bands. My, my mama plays them to me all the time. You want to listen to some of those songs? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Uh, it's in my bedroom. What is that, like an off-limits place for yourself? No. And let me listen to songs that remind me of home, Johnny. Who is it? It's Judy. I'm looking for Darlene and Jimmy. Who? I'm looking for Darlene and Jimmy. It's Judy. Who are you looking for? I'm looking for Darlene and Jimmy. They're not here. Well, where are they? I don't know. Well, where do they go? Darlene was here yesterday and she realized her father wasn't here and she left. Well, where did she go? How the fuck should I know? Hey, don't get fresh with me. I have had about enough of all this business. First Jimmy, then Darlene, and now you. Okay, fair enough. Just tell me where my little Darlene is. And again, I'll tell you, I don't know. Would you like to come in and have a drink? Well, m yeah, maybe. Yeah, all right. Cheers. I wish we were all here. I mean, I mean, Darlene, I don't care about Jimmy. He abandoned us from the get-go. We are all here. I know I am, but I mean Darlene. Oh, your little girl isn't so little. What? Well, she's technically 21, but she's still my baby. She's a woman. Metaphorically. 
Right. There you go, uh, running over with that, that shit that Jimmy used to talk about, that rapture stuff. I don't, I don't care about that. I know she's a grown-up woman, but she's still my little baby. How sweet. You've got yourself a bad attitude. Do I? Why, this is a stiff one. That's what she said. <laughs> Who? Darlene. Don't you dare make a sexual joke about my little Darlene. No joke. I bawled your little baby. Liar. Pants on fire. You're sick. I know. And she's still here. Where? In my bedroom. Is that true, baby? Are you here? Can I help you? Are you the prick who works x-rays at the hospital? Excuse me? Are you the guy who molested my daughter? No, it was your mother. You bastard! You gotta pay for this. My daughter can't sleep anymore! No, because she's a whore. <laughs> enough. I gave you your just punishment. Stop it. It's over. station. Oh uh, yeah. What brings you here? Actually, several things. Do you mind if I step inside to discuss? Yes, I do. You're not going to step inside. Do you want me to go back and get a warrant? What for? Well, there's several people that are missing related to you. My only relatives are my mother and father. And they're both gone. Related in the relationship sense. I have no relationships in my life, and that's just the way I'd like it. Fine, have it your way. I'll go back to the station and get a warrant. I'll be back. <laughs> that's the television set. I've got to turn it down. Goodbye.
We may never fully understand this case. They're all deceased. All the bodies are burned beyond recognition. No teeth were discovered for dental records. This is still a mystery wrapped in a riddle. But one thing is for certain, Johnny Delmonico went insane and he is solely responsible for the deaths. Jimmy Garland, Darlene and Judy Dempster, as well as the man who came looking for revenge because Johnny Delmonico allegedly molested his daughter at the hospital. Case closed, but not solved. Deranged foxhole took its toll on Johnny, who's in the know, blow by blow. With his baseball bat, he's crazy like that. As a matter of fact, when he hits, he's quite exact. Strength he does not lack, but maybe one too many Big Mac inconsequential to those he will attack. Jimmy, Darlene, the man, and Judy. Johnny did it when he was moody with his foodie while listening to Hootie and the Blowfish. Then he served up his dish of scrambled brains, inflicting many pains, leaving blood stains in a sad soul in his deranged foxhole.